Time now for a check of the weather and as Halloween approaches, it seems we may have some big changes in store. Meteorologist Peyton Domsky joins us. It doesn't look great. It could look better, but it's very Midwest of us to have the idea of maybe a little rain, maybe a wet snowflake or two. Just Bundle in up. time for Halloween. I know we'll get to the nitty gritty of Halloween specifics toward the end of the forecast. But today I actually, uh, you know, it was quite the reality check. We hit a high temperature of 67 degrees just before five this morning and our low temperature will be found in the 50s and truthfully it's probably TBD as we go through the day today. Our average high this time of the year is right about 60 degrees so we were below that through the afternoon and we'll continue to do so as we go about uh, the evening. But when did that front exactly pass? Well it passed anywhere between about six to eight this morning. Our temperatures dropped about 10 degrees in the span of two hours and we've coasted in the 50s ever since. I think overnight tonight a lot of you will find yourself back in the upper 40s, but for the time being, we're locked in the clouds. It's damp, it's cool. We've got a northerly breeze, and that is helping reinforce that cool breeze across the area, too. And just the chill that's present. We got rain that returns overnight, and it's all associated with that exact same position of the front that did pass. It's kind of going to stall there, so everything is just riding right along it. It basically is functioning as a conveyor belt here. So by tomorrow morning, we get a decent chunk of some wet weather to move through. I think we get some steady rain through the morning in your National Zimmer big picture forecast. We will have a midday break, but then as we approach the day on Monday, we basically do the whole thing over again. Except I think this one is a little earlier in the timing of things, but the roads are still going to be damp for your Monday morning drive. So maybe a lot for a little extra time. That does not mean we're completely done with wet weather for the day on Monday. I think we have a lake effect here and there. It will be far and few between maybe a little sunshine too to break out mixed on in there. But by Tuesday, we're talking partly sunny to mostly cloudy conditions for the bulk of the day. So your Halloween doesn't look too shabby if the kiddos want to wear their costume to school or maybe you've got maybe early trick or treating set up. This is the next system we have to watch. It could potentially bring in a little rain, a little snow mix late Tuesday, which is Halloween into the day on Wednesday. Again, we'll talk about a little bit more of the nitty gritty coming up here in just a second, but this is a timestamp of 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and what the radar is likely to look like basically overtaken by wet weather across Northeast Ohio. If you're trying to put two and two together, we do the whole thing over again by Monday, so maybe generally speaking half an inch to an inch in wet weather expected here over the next 24 to 48 hours, maybe some isolated higher totals, but we dry out through the middle of your Sunday, which is fantastic, but you'll notice the temperatures. They're not breaking the low to mid 50s. We will stay plenty chilly, and then again we get uh, another hit of some of that wet weather come Monday morning, and we still have that north wind, so we will have some breaks in the overcast as we go through time on Monday, but Halloween, the big kahuna of the forecast, what you want to know. I've got two longer range models and what we really look for as meteorologists is a consensus. Things to line up and things to match. They both know that something is coming. What they don't know is the exact timing. Again, generally speaking, we are talking about the idea of some rainfall and potentially some wet snowflakes. The American model, the GFS run for 8 p.m., which is in the middle of trick or treating for some of you, wants it to be a little snowier. I know a lot of you want to to know some things. Well, the exact arrival time is still TBD and totals, if any, if any, are still unknown thanks to the lack of timing and the effort there. I think things really get themselves together for very early Wednesday morning, and that's our best chance at seeing maybe a wet snowflake or two. But a big friendly reminder, the ground is still very warm, so a lot of this is going to melt on contact, especially if we have rain to mix on in. That basically limits the chances too. In short, though, if the kids are going out for trick or treating, which happens to be on Tuesday, but I know a lot of folks have things planned for the weekend as a whole, Tuesday, you're still going to need to layer the kids up. Our high temperature is going to be in uh, the mid 40s and overnight we are going to have temperatures close to freezing and then we get another precious hour of sleep next weekend. I could take uh, 55 and 59 on a Friday and Saturday. I'll take yes. those just the next like four weeks. Okay, well, that would, be... uh, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? If we could copy and paste every day to be the same. Right. All right. Peyton, thank you. Appreciate it.